Hello and welcome to Tonic Studios. Today we're here to show you our brand new showcase. It's called the Superb Slider Box. This is Leo, and today we're going to show you this amazing die set. So let's go through what you're going to get. It comes in your uh, folder, your, your little popper there. That'll go straight into your A4. Die storage, yeah. Die storage folder. <laughs> I know, I know. You get a magnet as well. There's the magnetic sheet. So we'll pop that to one side, and then here's the business. This is what you want. So you've got the superb slider box, you've got a lovely, not just a lovely A4 die set, but you've got this amazing instruction sheet as well. And this goes through a couple of different variations on mm -hmm. how to build this as well. So we'll show you some of the different ways that you can put this together, but the instructions will also go through that for you too, which is very nice, I think. You've got an amazing die set. I mean, look how full this is. It is. Can round. we just say... You can tell it's a Torby die you set. You can, absolutely, because there is not even a tiny bit of space left on there. I'm going to pop this underneath just so you can see it properly. Look at that. Chock a block. Absolutely. Filled. <laughs> to the brim. There is, there is no more space on there. Absolutely not. So you've got all of your construction elements. Mm -hmm. You've got lovely depth of details. It's very... Art Nouveau, would it you say? Is, art it Deco is, art is the Deco. word I'm looking for. Yeah. That one. Um, you've even got a couple of tags in here as well. Love that. Um, all of the pieces to make, like I say, a couple of different variations mm -hmm. of this, depending on how you want to put it together. So you've got the drawers and your bases and, and your half circles. Mm -hmm. We should really... This isn't really going to show people... No, what let's have a look makes. at some of the samples so you let's can actually do see that. what it makes. It's very hard, I think, to look at a die set sometimes. And find out what it does. Figure out what it's going to do. Where shall we start? You take one. Okay, let's go with this one. Go on then. So here is one of the ones that we did for the packaging. So you've got this lovely little tag on here. And then you've got all of these beautiful decorative pans that go all the way around the outside. So you do three to, to make yes. it fit? Yes, so you right. can you do three around to make them fit. Um, and you can do all three top to bottom if you want to. You can just do one at the top, one at the bottom. Uh -huh. You can just do one around the middle. You can do none of them. <laughs> Whatever you choose. So this literally just slides off the top like this. Superbly. It does. Superbly <laughs> slide, <Thank> absolutely. <laughs> Shush in the quiet seats, <laughs> cheap seats. So I've done this as a double pocket in here. So you've got two like nice big pockets that would be perfect. I was going to say we your were tools, not prepared. Your glue, you know, basically anything you want to keep on your desk, uh -huh. nice and neatly and tidily, you can pop into these. You've got this nice piece up the middle as well that kind of keeps it separate, and this makes your handle as well. And it's got this lovely little base. I think this is probably my favourite like feature the base. on this. I like the base. That it has. This it's little, all about the base. It is all about that base. No trouble. <laughs> So then this just slides straight back over the top. He hasn't got his head in his hand yet. We're doing okay. <laughs> we can't be too wrong here yet. No, we can't. So then you just slide this back over. Depending on how much decoration you've put on, you might need to give this a little bit of encouragement. There we go. He's all in. There it is. Oh, there we go. And then you just need to twizzle this to get the handle to come through the slot in the top. There it is. And, and there we is hidden. the box done. So that one is the double pocket variation. Mm -hmm. Where's one that is pocket and drawers? That one? Oh, nope, nope, nope. That is all oh, drawers. Can I remember which the one? The black and gold one there. That one, thank yes, you. Yes, okay. definitely. So this one is Shilpa has made this one for us. Oh, I so you like see it. she's got the two tags on the front here. I really like how she's done that. That's fab. The, little extra tag and you can mm -hmm. see she's just put one of those decorative panels around the middle and she has cut herself a strip and just put the decorative yes. verse or die yeah. into that strip so you don't have to have them as separate pieces mm -hmm. if you don't want which to which is lovely it's even got the lovely little pieces on the top as well I really oh, like that, that. so nice love it. and we love anything in black and gold let's oh, be honest really do. it's one of our favourite it's striking isn't it it is. it is okay so again this just slides off and this time you can see we've got these little drawers 
that will open up like this. They're all self-contained little units in there. So you've got a set of drawers on one side, if I can get this back in, and then you've even got these decorative panels up the side for those, Beautiful. and then you've got one of the pockets on that side. Oh, I love the decoration just used yeah. like that as well, just down the centre of that pocket. That's really clever. Yeah. Love that one. Do you know what that'd be nice for? Go on. You could put um, a nice gin. <laughs> <laughs> Miniature. So you could get your miniatures in the back and, uh, and your and you could have some in nice, the front. No, you could have some nice botanicals oh, in the thing. Yeah. If you were giving, a, if you were giving a gift. Some dried orange slices. Yeah, maybe, if you are giving a nice to gift to, a, yeah. a, mm, to a gin nice. lover. That would be lovely. No ice, though. Don't put ice in it. Don't put ice? Probably no. wouldn't recommend that, no. <laughs> I mean, you could do those... Um, like the whiskey stones, you could put some of them in the ones that you just bung in the freezer. Yeah, and yeah, the, I've got the, some of those. the plastic ice, yeah. you know, that you just, they've, they've got the water inside them. And then we have this one. So this is a slightly different version again. So no decorative dies this time, we've gone with panned paper. Um, and just a nice strip around the middle, and then covered the joints with that little die for the tag, and then another little tag hanging, and I love the little buttons. I like the buttons. You can tell this is an owl one, can't you? Can't you just. Can't you just. So this time it is full of drawers and she's actually rotated them around. So you've got top and bottom drawer here and then the next drawer is in the middle on the side. That's I lovely. love that. So it's in threes. Yes, exactly. Fab. And then it's actually no halves. Halves? Yeah, so she's put a piece of paper across the join. There's actually uh -huh. a join down here. Ah, yes, okay. Yeah, for the yeah, little units. I got you. And this is all filled with little sewing bits. You've got ribbons in here. We've got like pom pom trim. We've got a whole load of a little bobbin. So uh, this would be a lovely little gift for a sewing person in your life. Buttons. We love some buttons. Love buttons, especially the chocolate variety. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favourites. Oh look, she's even out. Oh, she's so good. I know. Hanked ribbon, is that right? She's wrapped some ribbon round and put some lovely decorative paper around the centres of them. Yeah, exactly. To give you those little... <sighs> she's so good. I know. She puts us to shame, really, doesn't she? She really does. <laughs> so that's uh, the. I mean, that's not even all of the variations. You could, no. you know, keep doing. You could do the drawers all side to side. But, yep. You know. Yeah. All in a line. There's lots of different ways you could put this together. Definitely. So I love it. Lovely. And some of these other boxes have been decorated so beautifully. Like you know. Oh, in your <laughs> I oh, like grab that one. one. I like paper. this one. Look at that. I really love the, the way that string one's of pearls yeah. on the bottom. Love it. Should have of course. Should have known. Should have known. It's fabulous. They both look like wedding gifts. Oh, they yes. are. These are my great favourite boxes. I mean, yeah, they you'd would. have to really love your guests. But probably. you could make one for the table, can you? A table you of six, could. and you could have a draw each. Oh, <gasps> now there's an idea. Do you know what that'd be good for? If you Go had on. a table of six with a six, instead of putting presents in there, you could put um, little like games. Yes. Like little, little tags with little yeah. games in them, so yeah, people. Yeah, that would be good. That would That's be really nice good. Idea. Right, I love this one. I think it's absolutely beautiful. But they're all, all of the samples that came in are equally as beautiful. Mm -hmm. We've got one here with, made with our, our decorative paper at the front, so it's a little bit easier to curve. Yep. But card on the top and, and paper on the front, so that's that one. Beautiful. Another one in papers again. Oh, I and like this those. This one. You go. You got your little oh, drawers that's nice. and your pocket on the inside. And even in patterned paper, I think it looks lovely. Very impressive. It does. Mm. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Very lovely. Okay, there we go. So, are you going to show us how to make it? I am. Fabulous. I am. I, I have reminded I'm, myself how I'm to do happy this. Happy to be holding. <laughs> So I have made... I've got some instructions if you oh, want yeah, them. Oh, yeah, we might need those, yeah. Pop, pop those out here. So I've done a little bit ahead of time. Um, this was all I could do ahead of time. <laughs> yes. Which is just this. So I've made already two of the drawers and two of the drawer containers. That is as far as we can go. So I shall start with the drawer wrap. We'll get that part done. So for that, you are going to need two of these shapes here. And I've got three semicircles. I might need all of them. I might only need two. We'll mm -hmm. see how it goes. So, so I'm going to first of all fold on my score line. So this is basically going to be the bottom of my drawer holder. So that one needs to go up. 
This one is going to make this side so it comes in. And I am mirroring you for the other side to save you doing it twice. Thank you very much. And then this one is going to go out. So you're going to fold this one back on itself this way. So it should end up like so. So there's the bottom side and then this is the outer wrap and then we'll just fold the glue tabs. So these glue tabs for the side, you're going to want to fold them in. To give it stability, you're going to glue it to itself basically. These then are going to go back and this one is also going to go back. Just make sure my friend has been able to follow along here. <laughs> I am. Excellent. I am following you. And then glue. And basically you just reverse it and glue it together. So we'll start with the back. And you can decorate the back panel of this if you want to as well. There is a die that will fit it, I think. There is. We've got um, it on one of them. We can we can show that on a second. Is that still on the set on or that. did we take it off? I don't remember now. Oh, let's have a quick look while I'm gluing this. What are you looking for? Yeah, that one. There it yeah. is. It is still on this. So can you remember which one of these it's in? Yeah, the pink one. The pink one. There we go. You can open that while I'm holding this. Shall show this. Can I just show that quickly on? So you can see that if you do not want to put the draw in, you get a little shelf with that decorative piece at the back there. And if you want to decorate behind the drawers, you can. I would just say not to put too many layers mm -hmm. because it will stop the drawer going in as far and then you will have a problem putting yes. the outer wrap over the top because yeah. the drawers will stick out. So trust me, <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't put too many layers on there. That sounds like, hmm, I appear to have too many layers on my drawer. I might have had to remake one of the ones that I did. Yeah, that may have Oh happened. no. This uh, this lovely yellow and uh, burgundy one in the background uh -huh. was made multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm popping my glue tabs around. So these on the sides here, this is very hard in navy, probably not the best color. So I'm literally wrapping it over the top so you don't see them from the inside basically. Mm -hmm. That keeps that nice and tidy looking then, isn't it? It does. And it also makes it that much stronger, I think, because it's kind of holding those pieces yes. in place. Yeah, it's it's holding up to the up to the edge of that yeah. die cut, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. When you fold in them over the top. And I'm doing wet glue today. I'm not taping. I'm being very no good. No tape. There are too many rounded edges on yeah. this for me to go anywhere near tape today. So uh, no, we'll stick with wet glue. Okay, two down, two to go. Just a little bit. You don't need a huge amount of glue on this, just enough for it to stick. Mm, less is definitely more with um, deluxe adhesive. And it you think you put anyway. in, Yeah, you think you put in more glue on to give you a better hold, but it kind of does the opposite yes. because it soaks into the card it and makes then it damp and, yeah. yeah, it doesn't stick as well at no, all. No, no, it does not. Okay, last one of those. I mean, you can always add a tiny bit more should you need to. Yep, so if you need to add a bit to the edge, just mm. grab a scrap, put some glue on it and slide it underneath. underneath. Yeah. Better to do that than to completely get your glue tabs soggy, yeah. shall we say. Yeah, we don't soggy glue tabs. Well, they're not going to stick, are they? They're just not going to stick. They are not. So, there we go. The basic shape is already there. You can see you've got your little drawer holder container segment that has it, there's no light in there it's like a black hole look at it <laughs> <laughs> it does go in i promise so then i am going to i'm trying to think how the best way to do this there's a couple of different ways that i've tried and i'm going to see if this way is, is the, best the best way yeah so i'm going to give these sides just a tiny bit of a curve because they are curved on the box and then so I'm going to start with what is going to end up being the base because then if it doesn't look good you're not really going to see it so it's not a problem. I'm going to put a tiny dot of glue. I'm going to try and show you which tab I'm doing this onto. So on this first tab right on the very corner of both of those and I'm going to pull it in and just vaguely attach it under here. Oh. Because it sits under the edge of the little box right and if you were to put the semicircle on the bottom and then try and push this in it's not going to go 
because it goes uh, under. So if you were to glue the semicircle onto here, because uh-huh. this is going to sit on here, and you then tried to push that glue tab. Okay. Tried and tested. Okay. Tried and tested. So you just need to hold that for a second because it's only a tiny bit of glue. So it will take a moment to just mm-hmm. hold it in place. But yeah, I tried many times to poke that glue tab under. <laughs> and it didn't it's work. not going. No. Sniff him off. <laughs> I mean, you could do that. If you uh, don't want to try and guess the angle of the curve, you could absolutely just snip the little wedge off. That would probably be a faster way of doing it, to be honest. Yeah, maybe I should have done that. (laughs) (laughs) My way's more fun. Okay, and then I'm going to pop glue all the way over the bottom of this. You can see it's already pinged off, so I'm going to have to push it back in. It'll be fine. It will. I'm going to put a little bit more glue on this than I normally would. Because I want a bit of moving time. Exactly. Right, okay. So I'm going to line the curve up on the front, and then before I play press it all the way in. I'm going to flip it over and make sure that the back is flat ah, I and I've got see. an even gap yep. over here. And now very quickly, before it dries, try and pop that in. You see? Ah, oh, I get you. And then the rest of the glue tabs, we're just going to stick around that curve. So. so the first one is going inside it and the other two are going around it or no they're going inside they all go inside right, I mean okay. you probably could wrap around but I don't think you'd get a neat finish no. on here no. because you're going to stack these up basically yeah. and the lid of one is going to become the base of the next mm-hmm. and the base of one becomes the I'll lid of you. the next okay glue on all of these and then pull them around that corner and you just need to hold these in place. You kind of need to pull them around the edge of your little semicircle. Mm. Curved boxes are always, there's always a trick to them. Yes. They are a little bit more fiddly than a square box, but you get a nicer finish. I was going to say, but look at what you get. Yeah, exactly. It's worth. It is. Worth the holding time. Definitely. And I can't even give you one to hold. because I know. It's all on the same piece. You've done the, the others. Piece. I know. You wouldn't want to watch me build all three of these, I'm no, sure. No, no. Do, do, do. Talk amongst <laughs> yourselves while the glue dries. <laughs> so Mr. Alex is back today. Hi, team. Uh, filming us today. The dulcet you, tones in the background. Did you see the Stamp Club video where I put your elevator music in? Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. oh, I watched it on mute. I tend not to listen to myself because I hate hearing my own voice. So I do watch them just to make sure that, you know, they vaguely look like they're meant to, but I don't listen. I might have to go I tend now. to watch them late at night as well with the sound off in bed. Because Ian's Subtitles on? Oh, the subtitles are a oh, treat. They, aren't they just... Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm sure I didn't say that word. <laughs> yeah. <That's> Automatic just... <laughs> subtitles from Facebook. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Brilliant. They are good fun. <laughs> was that in the Golden Sunrise? Yes, it was. Right, okay. I'll go back and Was it the Golden Sunrise? I'm sure it was, because that's when you did a make, wasn't wasn't it? Yeah. Yes, I did. I did do that. I was about to say the name of the stamp club that's coming out this month then by accident, so I will <laughs> very much refrain from spoiling that. Oh, that was close. That would have had a great big bleep across our face. <laughs> yes, yes, it would. But yes, we are doing another one later this month. More stamp club. There we go. So you can see now I have my nice curve. Yeah, and it is perfect as well. It's, it's following that edge beautifully. So this is going to be... The lid of that one. I get you. So this is the fun part. I'm going to take these out. Mm-hmm. And then you have to hold all of this together in one go. So this ah. is where having large hands or a friend is helpful. Unless it's a friend with small hands. Unless it's a friend with small hands, yeah. Alternatively, you can just stick another one on yeah. and do multiples. And I think that's probably why I cut this. So should we do it the easy way? Yeah, go on. So again, I'm going to line up the curve on the front and before I set it into place just flip it over and make sure the back is as straight as possible and I've got a nice even bit on the sides Mm -hmm. press that in and then push in my edges just like that see 
I've I've made a lot of these at this point. You really have. I I missed this one, I think. I remember cutting them. So it must have been this one. I think one you I were cut. helping our cut. Was I? Yeah, I think Cause so. Because I cut lots of drawers. Yes, that's right. I I miscalculated. There was a slight <laughs> miscalculation. Yes, we found those the other day as well. Yeah. After I'd cut all of these. Yep, that's the one. Yeah, Living. we saved them especially for this make. Yeah, and I, I forgot found about them after we'd cut it. Classic. <laughs> Absolutely classic. Absolute classic. classic. Yeah, they were. It, it just if I sums had, me if up. If you hadn't told me that, and I had to guess how that went down. <laughs> That is exactly what I would have said. <laughs> Karen cut them, forgot where she'd put them, and you had to cut them all again. Yeah. Yep. And then Alison let out some of the worst expletives you've ever heard in your life. <laughs> you can't say that. She's not here to defend herself. Because honestly, I've never met someone that's more like a docker <laughs> in a pub as than if. Alison in that room. Oh, Or when the cameras are not rolling. Bless her. <laughs> He, uh, he really does cast nasturtiums. He does, <laughs> doesn't he? <laughs> well, I've only got short windows in which I can do this now. So That's true. Yeah. You've got to make the most of it. You've got to get those... Uh... Get those digs in while you can. <laughs> while you can yeah. I was going to call them zingers, but... All oh, right, okay. <laughs> it's a bit nicer than digs. Yeah. Okay. And just while I'm lining this up, the reason that you want this to be as flat as possible on the back, we are going to put this piece all the way up the back and if any of your draw wraps are not quite mm -hmm. you're going to put the whole thing out basically so get, get scissors straight. <laughs> get yeah. your scissors ready if exactly. you're me and you haven't stuck it straight you may want to get your scissors and trim no. the bits off. i have faith I don't think you actually, you didn't make any of these i did didn't you? no i did some cutting i do remember cutting because i found the bits but That's it. It was a, a room effort. It was. This last one, I think it was, wasn't it? Because it I didn't have time. When, uh, yeah, well, we I leave time. at three o'clock as well. This is true. This is the thing. So I'll do some cutting and then somebody tends to put mine together. The elves come in and <laughs> assemble your work for you. That was the shoes. That was the shoes. That was funny. <laughs> she had this brilliant idea. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll do a pair of, you know, those famous shoes that have red soles. <laughs> those yeah. ones. And she cut all the pieces. She's like, oh, I'll put that together tomorrow. And then two little elves that were left after. <laughs> Until five o'clock. Gone home. <laughs> assembled those <laughs> shoes for her and it was just like magic it was magical to come into those the following morning the shoemaker in the arms yeah yep fabulous just that they did a good job as well fair play <laughs> thanks <laughs> thanks so much I'm glad you appreciated <laughs> okay last one done Doop. there we go so they're all little separate units. You could, you would probably need to, how many did we say to cut of the semicircles? Mm -mm -mm. So yeah, per one, we did say to cut two. So yeah, mm -hmm. that probably is the easiest way. But if you feel brave, you could just put one in between and glue the next one on top. I wouldn't to feel you. brave. No? I wouldn't feel brave at all. No. And once you've made, you know, quite a few of them, you probably won't. Yeah, that's very true. Okay, and then I'm just going to stack my little units on top of each other, so yet more glue. Again, you're going to want to make sure this is lined up, because you've got that nice line of the side pieces, mm -hmm. and oh, that's pretty much straight down the back. Yeah, that's very good. It's not bad, right? No adjustment yeah. needed. Hopefully. We'll see. I've actually got to stick the card on yet, you know. By eye, it might look strange. <laughs> When it's actually uh, it's being glued together. Perfect not. to me. Okay, so I'm going to put that to one side. There, I have Does my... Does it need holding or is it okay? Sure, you yeah. keep a hold of that. Is this I... top one here? Yeah. No, this one. This one, one of them. Is this Just one? hold I them all. I can, with... see, I can see a little bit of white there, so that's going to be glue. While you're doing that, I shall assemble a draw. Mm -hmm. So I have my draw pieces. I've got my draw front, my draw back two draw sides and two draw bases. I'm going to start with the front and again I'm going to give this a bit of a curve. So lucky we remembered to bring a bone folder down today. <laughs> Pop all my glue tabs in. Now I do this differently to the way that you and Al do oh, curved do you? edges. Right okay. So I make sure that my glue tabs are in. Uh huh. I'm going to sit this down on here. This is going to be very hard for me to show because I'm going to want to cuddle it. So, sorry. 
I'm in Wales. I'm going to want to cut it. <laughs> so pop some glue onto my tabs in here. So like so. And then I'm going to take the base of my drawer. Oh. I'm going to fit it into the sides of the glue tabs and then push it down onto them and basically hold it in place like that. Ah, no, I do that not easy. do that. And everyone else that I watch literally sticks on one glue tab at a time and like pulls it around. No, I don't do that either. I build the drawer and I ram my base in the center. Ah. ah. Another good way of doing it. So yeah. uh, I just like literally hold it in my hand yeah. to make the curve and then stick it down. That's good. But these drawers have a bit of forgiveness in them. So they if do. they are, uh, if it's not quite there, it's not a problem. There we go. So there's my curved section. Nicely done. You can see that there. And I'm just going to build the rest of it. So fold in on all my score lines and my little side. I love that our score lines are so precise. Me too. I don't have to go in and burnish them. Which no. I so I'm going to put all of the glue tabs onto the base first, because once again, it is. All about the base. Absolutely. <laughs> we are like performing monkeys at this point. <laughs> yep. You give us a line and... Uh, Out it comes every time. Yeah. Yep. That'll be the one. <laughs> even the line about saying, even the line clarifying the what you're saying isn't just a line is now a line by this point. Mm -hmm. yeah. I should do a super cut of all of those. You should. Maybe all of the we don't talk about stamp card design. Because <laughs> yeah. we don't. Absolutely not. No. First rule. First rule. <laughs> <laughs> We're too predictable. And do you it's know what's fun? fun is, no. This is what it's like all day in the Oh, office absolutely. As well. It's not like this oh, is just oh, down here. Oh, we don't put it on. We don't put it on, guys. <laughs> this, no. this is 24 7. Yeah. When we were filming <laughs> the Golden Sunrise last month. Right. Now, bear in mind, I don't, I, I'm not in the office as much as I used to be. <laughs> Leo was going, the Golden Sunrise, <laughs> which was catching herself on what she was saying. And knowing you three as well as I know you three <laughs> means that bef before and no one's even had to tell me exactly what it was that Leo was trying to catch coming out of her mouth. We, I, we, know. I was, I was we talking. I was talking to my husband about this, and I was telling him about that name. <laughs> we can't remember the name of a set. Sometimes it gets nicknamed. It is all I'm going to say. So I said it wrong, and then it well, I knew, on. And I knew exactly the person who said it. <laughs> I didn't need to be told. And you just, I, I worked I worked here full time for, me, for over a year, <laughs> and that's just enough time to know that Karen is the troublemaker. She's the one that always gets things wrong, and the rest of them will just follow suit. She's the ringleader. Like the table of loud girls with the back of the <laughs> yeah. dinner hall. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I did funny. rename that one, and I was telling Ian about it only yesterday, <laughs> and he was going, why? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because we don't remember the names, and no. we see so many sets, and we see them before they get official names, or yes. their names change. Yeah, they do. So and in order you... to avoid confusion, we just nickname them something that we're all going to remember. Mm -hmm. And it's usually like them to wash in... In the set, you know, Usually, so you wouldn't call but this one wasn't. <laughs> so you wouldn't call the shoes, whatever the shoe the shoe box. Oh no, it was, it was was just the called shoes, the shoes, the, the shoes, champagne yeah. bottle, yep. the hot air balloon. Yep, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yes. Yeah. The train. The train. Oh, it was called the tonic train. The zoo. It was. <laughs> the zoo. Yeah, they were called zoo animals. So you know, yeah, you know, never usually a million miles away, are you. <laughs> and then a lot more that we can't say on film. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, just finishing off my glue tabs on the uh, edge of my drawer here. And like I say, this is fairly forgiving, yeah. so if your angles are not quite there, it's not a problem. You do have a little bit of wiggle room if you need yeah. it. I put too much glue on that, it's got damp. So Ooh, I'm just it for an extra <laughs> damp tabs. A little bit. So I'm just going to hold that while I put some glue on the bottom. And I've cut another base just so I can hide all of this. Hide your workings. Hide my workings. Yep, this is not like a maths exam. Mm-hmm. 
we do not show what we've done. It'll also help your draw to slide in. Yes, nicely exactly. Yeah, because well. your tabs would probably catch. Mm. There we go. Just make sure that is aligned to there. Wipe off any excess glue that came out the edge and then pass it to your lovely assistant to hold. Okay, so those are my drawers and my draw. What do you call them? Liners. Mm, draw component. There we Ooh, go. That's it's a what draw they're called. Component. Draw okay. components. There we go. I'm going to then start on the bottom. I'm going to work on the base. That lovely little. I'm stand. not even going to say it again. Yeah, I think we've done that one a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I've cut three of the largest circle and two of the little strips that go around the edge. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm going to give this a curve. It's a round box. You're going to need your bone folder. Give Alternatively, little... if you don't have one, uh -huh. over the edge, edge of the desk. Of the desk. It also gives you a nice little curve. It does. Like so. It does. But yeah, if you have a bone folder or a precision glide folder. Yeah. yeah, I find it easier with a flat one though. For this, yes, I probably would say this one is easier. And then I'm probably going to do this different to how you do this again because you would glue these two together, wouldn't you? I and absolutely then would. Sit the circle in it. Absolutely Should I do it would. Way? Up to you. Let's give it a go. Oh no. <laughs> and then if it goes wrong, it's, it's my fault. Your fault. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's why you need three because you put that do right into the over. score line. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I am going to hold this for a second because I don't want this to be unaligned or to move. Mm -hmm. There we go. You've actually got a little bit of decorative deboss on that as well. No, no, no emboss. It's yes, emboss. Yes, you have. So those You've got some circles. holes. And it does show up on there. So probably if you did this in a pearl yeah. or, or if you were brave enough to do this in a mirror, yes. you would see that. Yeah, you can see them there. Okay, and then the other side is on. You make a full circle. I make a full circle. Oh, she's brave. It's easier, it's quicker. That's what it, it is. is. It's quicker. quicker. I'll give you that. Yeah, it is going to be quicker. And then we fold those tabs in. Ta -da. Okay. Fold in the two around the glue first uh -huh. and then do the rest. It's lucky there's not hundreds of these. Mm -hmm. oh, I did that one wrong. There it goes. Sorry, camera angles. <laughs> We're doing an Alison. Cutching it. Cutching it. I love that these score lines are so easy to just. Yeah, you just pop them down and they stay. So good. Like so. Like so indeed. That little press there looks like it's going to pop. Popped open. Me. I didn't hold that for long enough, did yeah. I? There we go. He's okay. Fine. There we go. Yeah. And then glue on all the tabs. Glue on all the tabs. Or would you do a ring of glue around the outside? Oh, you could do a ring of glue around that. That would be good. Around the outside? Around the outside. Look at his face. Oh, no. You are like a soundboard, aren't you? I know. I know. Just pull the cord on, the, on your back. <laughs> yeah, and some... And there's a snake in my boot. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> Well, there you go, that's a much faster way of doing that. Yeah. Rather than trying to put a dot of glue onto each uh -huh. every glue. To, uh -huh, I like that. Okay, there we go. We'll do it Karen's way. It's quicker. <laughs> much quicker. And it is much quicker. Press it Yeah, down. if you put it on the desk, you can stick your finger inside and push them all down. Precision Glide is good for this as well, actually, because Ooh. it's got that flat edge. It's in... Oh, have um, one here. Aha. Uh -huh. Why, thank you. And just go. Yep, I go around. Oh, look at all the glue I'm leaving on the mat as well. Glad That's to right. see you haven't taken all the stuff I put down here for you before I left. No, no, we wouldn't do that. Is here. I mean, the studio isn't as tidy as it used to be. I will say that. Mm -hmm. We tend to just come down here, do what we do, and then leave, leave again. Mm -hmm. There we go. Perfect. So yeah, don't mind that. We're going to cover that anyway. Yep. Flip it back over. Ooh. Same again. Although I'm going to sit this one on. No, you're going to sit that one on. So I would finish the bottom first okay. because your base is completely finished then. Got and on. then you can fold your tabs down and do your Worst. top of piece. See, now the way that I would do this is I would do one of the strips first. Oh, no. And then the other one in case. Nope. 
it doesn't quite line up no or you need to can't do it i can't do it i cannot get those i i can't hold them all it could be it oh could yeah be the I, small I, I wouldn't hand. do the, the hand yeah um, that no i wouldn't do that thing. this time i would go you know a couple of times at a time yeah if i was doing that no i can't do that that's that just takes far too long for me. I'm I'm a rather swift crafter, shall we say. <laughs> Get it done. Would you like a wipe? It's oh, okay. no, it's going to make your thing wet. Just go back around. Mm -hmm. Ooh, mind my tab. This is very handy for this. Yep. Like it. Give it a good press across the middle. Yep. And now we'll go around and do these tabs. Yes. And well, this is creating your base. Lovely. I like that base. And the fact that you've gone it's around lovely. the circle and then done a second one over the top is going to make it that much more sturdy yeah. for you as well. Yeah, unfortunately you can't do that with the other side. No, there is no way you'd no. be able to do that. So we just but that's okay to... because we're going to layer it up anyway. So. Yeah, but we've got the shape there now anyway, so we can just put that one on. Because we've pushed the shape down, haven't we? And then I was going to say, I would do the glue tabs rather than the circle for this one. I wouldn't want too much glue on it. Sorry. <laughs> Kitchen. So when the concentration goes high, the, That's uh, the, you, tend, you all tend to do this yeah. and bring it closer to you. It's just so we can make sure that we've got everything. Ta da! Because that's when the talking stops as well. I know, yeah. I know. And and I stop as well because I'm thinking, oh, God, please work. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is your way of doing it. So this I know, now, I know. It's, it's all on me. And if it, it does go wrong, Leo will throw it on the floor, stand up, throw something over and then yeah. storm out the room. Well, she's, gonna do, she's just going to upend the we desk. We lose her for that. the rest of the day then. <laughs> No, we don't. I just sit here going, her head's gone. <laughs> her head's gone. She's not in it anymore. <laughs> oh, my head went a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> that ship has sailed, mate. Am I holding? Actually, yes, if you wouldn't mind that. I will hold. Ta ah, okay. okay. I shall just give that a quick. Here we go. Yeah, uh, chuck it on the floor. <laughs> Absolutely. That's what we do in here. So, your. Once you've got all of this assembled, obviously you're going to want this to be as central as possible mm -hmm. so that it looks good on the base. Now the easiest way to do that, I have found, is to cheat. Of course. <laughs> so I have the largest die, the next size die, and I've cut a circle. Was it this one? Was it the small one? No, it was this one, wasn't it? Yep. Yes, it is this one. So I'm going to sit this on here as like a line. Right. I'm going to put this into here because I want this to be as centralized as possible so oh, I'm going to use it to help me line up. All right, okay. Let me see because then I can stick that straight down. That's mm. the plan anyway. So I've done it in the same color. Yes. And this just helps me to... We love a little, a little tip. Sorry. Sorry. We love a little tip like this. From somebody who's made so. many, many <laughs> simply slider boxes. So I'm going to try and do it by eye first. Oh, superb slider. It's not simply slider, is it? It's superb, superb slider. slider. Yeah. And then pop the die over it. Because these are designed to sit inside each other, you'll be ah. able to see if you have the same edge. What oh, I do? Oh, look at down. that. Ta-da. Very good. What the clever clogs. Yes. That's Up there for Donson. Big bucks? No. Okay, <laughs> next. Ta da! We're going to make now the, what would you call that? What have we called it on here? Storage compartment. Right, I like okay. that. So for that, I have this little piece with the decorative little swoop. Mm hmm. One of the back panels. Oh, what else would you call it, Mr. <laughs> said... Snigger over there? <laughs> Mr. Snigger. Did you hear him? <laughs> no, <laughs> he did, it was a gentle chuckle. <laughs> Is it not? <laughs> Chuckles. Yes. So yeah, I've got the piece with the swoop, the back panel, and then I have two glue tabs. And I've done these in a different colour only so you can see where I'm gluing them. Cool. 
it's gonna make it easier for you. I probably wouldn't recommend doing this in a different color when you're making it because- You may I'll see it. You. Yes, you will see it. So I'm just gonna fold them down the nice score line. And I'm gonna put these on first. So Little obviously, of glue up there. we did not have room on this die set. No. Not even vaguely. Because <laughs> it fits inside another die. So it we does. didn't have room for the uh, for the glue tabs, so we've added them. Yes. I don't mind doing that. No, and especially not when it's something this. It's no. just a straight edge. Yeah. And this edge will fit perfectly on the start yeah. of the swoop as well. So uh, no issues there. You can make sure you've got it perfectly lined up right the way to the very edge of here. So you should be able to not feel... Mm -hmm. that extra bit of card over the edge when you run your finger on it. If you get a paper cut, you've done it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I shall do the other side. Does it matter which side you use? No. So you can just pick up, you can just pick up a glue tab willy-nilly. Yeah. As glue as whatever you want. you poking out. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't work if you had the hinge on the inside. Yeah, yeah. I mean... No, it wouldn't. No, it would not. <laughs> no, it really wouldn't. But apart from that, yes, you can just grab them and glue whichever one comes near you. Yeah, there's they are no, there's no completely right and symmetrical. Wrong. And then, I mean, I could have done this first, but, you know, it's more fun Where's to Where's the fun after. in that? Yeah. <laughs> With your bone folder, give it a curve. But if you don't want to, then don't worry. And then this literally just sticks straight onto. It's not that much of a curve this time, it though, is, isn't it? You know, because you've got. Curve, no. And it's going to pull it itself anyway because of how you are gluing yes. it onto the back of here. Fabulous. Have you got a semicircle for that or not? No. This right. just glues straight down onto the base. Ooh. Okay. I was actually just double checking that in the instructions because I, I didn't do that myself. No, so you just put those on and oh, then yeah. glue it straight down. Yeah, I can see that. You can see yeah. the circle that we've put in yeah. the middle. So put this on. I'm going to do one side and then the other. Much easier. Now, if you wanted to, you could pull your glue tab around yes, if you wanted you to do could. it that way, or you can sandwich it inside. Sandwich. Entirely up to you. Since I have done them different colours, I'm not going to pull it around because. You would see a little stripe mm -hmm. of teal then. <laughs> I like this together as well, the teal and teal and um, navy. navy. I mean, yes, we, we do use I've teal got a, a bit lot. of a bit of a teal thing going on yeah, at the moment. Yeah, you have teal I and have. mustard and craft is yours at the yeah. moment, isn't it? Yeah, I've made like three things in teal and mustard. They're all recently. in the basket together as well. <laughs> yeah. All of those launches together. I'm like, that's Karen's. That's Karen's. <laughs> I've always said that about you. Yeah? yeah, predictable. That you love your tea, you love your mustard, <laughs> you love your craft. If everybody said, what do you know about Karen? It's that she forgets the name of things all the time. <laughs> she, and she, that she loves her tea, she, hasn't she loves her mustard, and she loves her craft. I do love craft. I like to put craft with a lot of So just things. to clarify, we're talking about craft, cla craft, craft card. card, not craft. Yes. As in I, do love craft. My, I do love my craft. Or the cheese. Broadly. This is our craft. This is our craft. It yes. is indeed. There we go. Well, that's gluing on really easily. Yeah, super easy, especially because you can get into both yeah. sides. Yeah. So you can hold. Can I ask a question? Of course. Yes. Would you not normally cut another semicircle to hide your workings when you glue those tabs to the bottom of the thing? No, because this is going to glue. So I'm going to tuck them in, and it's literally going to glue to the edge of the circle that I've put onto here. Okay. But so then you'd be able to see your tabs inside. Would you not put it? It's so, it's so it's deep. It's quite deep, so you're probably you're not, not really going to see um... all the way down into there. Oh, I mean, okay. you probably you could. could you could, but should you want to. There's nothing to anchor it to this side. Ah, okay. So it only glue on there, so it wouldn't hold it in the same way. Uh -huh. I mean, you could if you wanted to. Don't see why not. Mm -hmm. So poke in all of my glue tabs. That's ready. And now I'm going to basically put these together. Yes. So I have another back panel. Before I glue that onto that, I'm going to glue it all together. Right. So this is literally just going to sit onto here. Mm -hmm. And you will notice that your glue tabs don't... Oops. Shall we remove the drawers? Yeah, maybe. 
they don't quite meet your glue compartment back. Uh -huh. So it is just the glue tabs that you're going to be sticking. You can pop some glue on there. It will probably catch some of it, but don't worry if it doesn't. Yeah, so it's basically just the glue tabs that yes. you glue in. All the way down there. This is the only thing, when you haven't made something, like I've only cut these pieces, I haven't made them, so I'm not really 100% on how what goes, goes where. Yeah, so, and that's another reason why I'm I'm quite quiet, because it's I'm as much of a surprise for you as it is for everyone else. Yes, indeed. Every day's a school day. <laughs> it, it is nice to, to work on every die set, but we don't. Always. You don't always have time to do no, that, unfortunately. No, we've Not got we are. other things going on as well. Plus, I do think it's nice. I mean, viewers are welcome to comment down below if they think otherwise, but I think it's nice to have someone who hasn't made the die set in the room yes, to kind yeah. of t ask those questions that, yeah. you know, uh, the audience might have. Mm -hmm. Indeed. So as, as they're halfway through typing the comment, their question, yeah, you you've were just, asking yeah, it. Yeah, just asked it. And I just delete the comment. <laughs> I mean, it's quite a simple. It, it, I mean, it looks is. confusing because when you look at the die set, it's just such a lot. There are a lot of pieces. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to put on the, on the black again, on the magnetic sheet. Um, there's such a lot of pieces that you just think, oh, wow, where do you start? But... When you have such comprehensive instructions like this. And it kind of goes stage by stage it does. as well. So you build, you know, each little component yeah, and, and then put them together. Them, yeah. So it does look confusing, but it is a lot less confusing than it actually looks. So all I've done with this, I've obviously lined up the base and these corners, and then I've mm -hmm. kind of pulled these edges out ever so slightly just so they meet right. the side. Because they are free, you do have yeah. a little bit of wiggle room with them. And then just press the backs in. Ta-da! So now Done. I have these two that are going to sandwich together. With your handle. But now I need to put my handles in, so I have two of those. Mm -hmm. I probably should have done those in teal. Mm. Oh, well. Never mind. They're navy now. Indeed. Indeed they are. So you've got some little tabs at the bottom, but I'm assuming that you don't... So yeah, those are for positioning, yeah, not for Yeah, they're markers, not folding. folding. You only fold them if you are doing this version of the handle. Oh, yes. Okay, okay, okay. So if is... you were doing all drawers mm -hmm. and you weren't doing this back panel... Right, but... Uh, I think does this that one have it in? This one has all drawers, but... Yeah, exactly. So you'll see in the top oh, here... Oh, I see, I see, I see. I've you've got, got you. the two little holes in a... So yeah. this is in a semicircle. This is the whole circle. Mm -hmm. And you actually cut that through, and then you would fold your glue tabs back. I've got you. Poke them in, and then glue them underneath. Yeah, I've oh, got that you. That was a really bad explanation of that. No, nope, I've got you. I've Everyone got you. understands it all. Hopefully. We get Hopefully. it. Hopefully. Even us non-crafters. Brilliant, I'm glad you do. So I'm it's just going to put glue up now. to those tiny little score lines on there. And then this is a bit of a by eye job again. You're just going to make sure that it is as central. central as possible. But it is a slit, so it's not, you know, it's not so no, bad. No, exactly. You've got a little bit of space outside mm -hmm. if you need it. I think that looks about right. Yeah, that's looking good. I'm up to the line, and then we're going to sandwich them between the two base pieces. Back pieces, base pieces. These big bits. <laughs> I've lost track of what's what now. Excellent. So that's going on there. We can't get you to remember the name of launches. We cannot expect you to remember the exact terms for every component. Absolutely not. Absolutely That's madness. Not. No. You're cutting you? a little, Leo. Am I? Okay. Very sorry. There we go. I'm literally just holding two bits of card together to get it to glue there. So not all that interesting to look at, I imagine. <laughs> Better than that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 it's really rude. <laughs> so we invite you back to come and That's film with us. Funny. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Thanks for the setup. The, the I quite enjoyed that. <laughs> it took those possibly three seconds for that to to, to settle register. to yeah. settle in there. Oh God, he's got his head <laughs> in his hands. We've done it. <laughs> <off, guys. laughs> 
This is the first shoot of the day as well. <laughs> day. I think this is the first launch as well. So you wouldn't see any of the later shoots before this one. Mm-hmm. So you'll get to watch throughout the month as we just descend. <laughs> descend as it gets into chaos. More chaotic <laughs> as the day progresses. And then, funnily enough, this and this goes together. Yep. So glue. I mean, you can put them on separately should you wish. I found it easier to get my circle yeah. onto here without all of this mm-hmm. on top of it. But yeah, if you wanted to put the circle onto the base of this and then glue the whole thing down, mm-hmm. you could absolutely do that. So I am going to line that up with that side of the circle. And I'm cutting again, I know. And then pull this out. Now this bit, not so easy. Right, okay. Oh, I get you. Because you want to hold. And you know, if you want to do a semicircle, as Alex said, and put the semicircle in the base so you can pull it out to the curve, mm-hmm. you can absolutely do that. I might need two hands now. I'm going to dual wield my uh, mm. bone folders. There we go. Yeah, because this one is very circular. So it, it all depends how you glue them down, doesn't it? As to how circular you get. The... Don't mind me. <laughs> Just uh, dual wielding bone folders <laughs> holding down glue tabs. <laughs> Just a standard Wednesday morning. <laughs> what do you do on a is Wednesday it, morning? Is it Wednesday? Is it really? I wouldn't know. <laughs> Al's not here. Must be Wednesday. <laughs> very true. Very true. That's how we know. Yeah, that is how we know. But looking at this one, it's not actually central on the base, but the base goes on, uh, the yeah. lid goes on, no problem. So it, if you are a it little bit off, it isn't, it isn't as go. bad as all that. See, I have managed to do it. It is on. Fabulous. And then I'll put my drawers in. Get your drawers in, girl. Oh, there we go. One, two. And all we need to do is the wrap. She says like it's just that easy. But it is just that easy. It is. And it's another circular piece. You have two of the outer wraps and I have two lids. And I've cut the slit piece into them. So because we're doing quite easy, isn't it? Because you've got this die with not that one. What? Oh this one. Is it that one? What's that then? I don't know now. It's three circles. Is it this one? It's the one for the no, that's the smaller one. That's the one for if you're doing oh, that. Oh, for if you're doing that one, it's this one. I can see. Sorry. So can this tell us Poor Karen, she said that with such confidence I know, that I it's know. this oh, die. It's got to be this one. It's got not a bonus notches. It has bonus notches. It has yeah. bonus notches. <laughs> yeah, we do say that. So this one also has. We do has say that as well. <laughs> bonus notches in there. <laughs> right. So a little bump. I've got them. And then where is the piece? This. Yeah, that one. Oh, it's the slit, not the... That's, well, that's for that one. Exactly. And this is for this one. Okay, so I've got this, you. So once you've cut your circle, you would put the circle back into your outer die. And this just fits into those little notches. Oh, that works Tape really it well. down, take your circle away and run it back through to cut the slit in the top. And that then is. you'll make sure that it's in the centre mm-hmm. every time and that they do actually line up yep. just to... Uh, there we go. See, do not it, it does dies at the same I time. Promise, it lines up. See? Perfect. Oh. Yes. So I have two of those and two of the outer wraps. And I am actually going to curve these beforehand this time. Yes. But I'm actually, because these are quite long, yep. longer than my hand, mm-hmm. these go on over the edge of the table. Right. Excellent. Which is probably really hard to see. Oh, no, it is. Look. Look, you can see that. So yeah, you, I hold it over the top and just roll it over the edge. And then back the other way. Ta da! Fabulous. One cup. If you have a little rolling pin or a bottle yeah. or whatever you've got, I mean, I happen to have a bottle of wine on my desk. So, you know, there's that. That's an empty Thursday. bottle as well. <laughs> no, that's the vodka. No. Um, <laughs> that was for breakfast on Monday, enough. yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I, I should probably <laughs> yeah. preface we that. Yeah, we are kidding. There is a little miniature bottle, but I brought it in because we tend to 
try things out for sizes so there's a little Cause, minute because they are always our measurements <laughs> for anything does it fit for a Russia? does it fit for a British sport does it fit a miniature yeah. this is how we tend to <laughs> how we and then the big guns get chocolate oranges yes yes they do or a bath bomb or a bath bomb or a bath bomb yeah that's a nice. chocolate orange sized bath bomb <laughs> yep <laughs> oh dear I'm doing this my way this time oh right okay so I'm doing the hold the hand all right Go for it. All the tabs are down, and I've got this right side up, but on the inside. Uh huh. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to make sure the slit doesn't go side oh, to I get side, you. though. Yeah. I don't think it matters, but I'm going to do it anyway, mm -hmm. just in case, because like the edges could catch. They could. They could. Very much so. It, can you? Um, there we go. So all I've done is just press this right into the edge, and if I take my hand away, you can see. It's not all dark Excellent. and shadowy now. <laughs> I need to get another camera, then we kind of set that desk this level. Yeah. 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 And this way and this way. We're just cameras everywhere, yeah? We'll just do that. We'll do like they did film in the Matrix and just have a 360 degree. I was going to say, can't we just have like. Um, Maybe we should just have GoPro. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have GoPros on our heads. So wherever we look. <laughs> oh, oh, that would be, that would be awful. You'd feel sick, I think, watching us. The way we swing our heads around. <laughs> It'd be so. good for when you need to get right into something that's yeah. and yeah. it gets in the way of the camera, yeah. though. Because Although I just... suppose then, because the camera's a bit higher than your eyes. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't you see just anything. Wouldn't see anything. <laughs> like, I'd be looking in the box and you'd be looking down here. Yeah. yeah. That would be funny. So funny. <laughs> oh, good grief. Good grief, Charlie Brown. The reason I've done this one this way, uh -huh. there is a reason. Because, because you can't get your hand inside. Also that, but also like your glue tabs are very wide on uh -huh. here. So if for any reason it doesn't quite meet, you've got that extra wiggle room. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. just in case, because that can happen. It can, it can. It will certainly it has. Can. <laughs> it can and it has. <laughs> exactly. So I am just... Cutting and so you're doing the same again. You're just putting yeah. the glue on each tiny dot of glue on each glue tab, yeah, and lining that up again. And I will do one side. Which side am I going to do? This one. And I'm going to do it just down the very edge, right, on this side. Okay. And then the very edge of this side. And I'll then it doesn't matter where. Please. Sorry, sorry, okay. sorry. Okay. Doesn't matter then where they meet. There's there always is glue. glue on the edge. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. I get you now. Yeah. I couldn't figure out how that was working, but it's going to be, because the glue tab is quite wide, you've gone on the very edge of the glue tab. The very edge of the inner one and the very edge of the outer one. So you've got glue right up against it. Good idea. This is where, you know, seven hands does come in handy. Uh-huh. Or a bone folder. And I'm gonna be. Oh, I'm gonna to have to try and look down this without having my head in the camera. No, you go for you it. You go for it. Everyone knows what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm glad they do because I don't. <laughs> okay, everybody knows what you're trying to do. <laughs> you can see what it should make. Yeah. Here's hoping it works. And then while I'm holding that, I'm just gonna. Ah, oh, right. Okay. So you've got the glue there. And the thing is. When you've put that glue on, it kind of goes a little bit tacky. It doesn't dry straight away. No. So you've got that tackiness as well. That's it. Excellent. Just pinch down the edge. And because I've got it on one edge of one and the other edge of the other, it creates a nice... Yeah, a nice strong bond there. Exactly. Mm. Without having to guess how much of the glue time mm -hmm. you need to glue. And then I just need to glue this side. Yep. The other way. Oh, I was going to say, pop that side. There he is. Perfect. And I'm going to just glue this edge. Do you know what? Are you going precision? Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Glamorous assistant. Oh, look at that. Isn't she good to me? <laughs> lovely, lovely precision nozzle for this. Oh. I love the precision nozzle. Because I need to get it into there. Uh-huh. I mean, I don't know what we'd... As if this is a very it's large still glue not tip. A big nozzle, is it? No. It's still quite tiny. It's only a, a, a small... Like, but that is just... 
It's smaller. Micro, it's, it's micro-sized. It's so tiny that you can get such a small amount of glue on there. Are you in? I think so. He's in. Oh, my tab is just overlapping. That's okay. You can get that. There he is. There you go. Okay. Perfecto. Pull that up the side, basically. That's lovely. Ta! Perfect. Okay. We'll just pretend I've not got gluey fingers all over the edge there. Because obviously you would be taking more time. I'm wiping your fingers in between. Yes. <laughs> that would probably that. be a good idea. That. Hold on, I've got a bubble. There we go. Got him. No, no. Got him. There you go. Last bit. Uh-huh. Hide your workings. Mm-hmm. Definitely. And obviously you do need to make sure that you line the slits up. <laughs> yes. Quite important. And I'm going to put glue around the edge of that because you don't want those to come apart in the middle. So just a little bit around there. I'm going to start in the middle, which is not normally where I would, sorry, start with this. Normally I'd go to the edge, but I want to make sure that it's definitely lined up. Fabulous. And again, and again inside. Born folder to the rescue. Squidge him down. And then this should, if I've done this properly, fit. And then you just find that. And there he goes. Ta da! And it's all perfecto. And now you get to decorate it, which is the fun yes. part. You know, you can go with. We've got so many options on here. I've done mousse behind this one. I did yes, you glacier did. paste, I think I, I did. I think it was. It's looking shiny. We've got mirror card, we've got glitter card, patterned mm -hmm. paper, whatever you want. There are options. That's amazing. <sighs> First one of the day, done. Successfully as well. Successfully done. Well, that is, it, it looks more, looks much more difficult than it actually is. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've just shown that that's quite simple to put together. And if you work on each little piece, yes. you know, make all your drawers, make the compartments mm -hmm. and do it like that, it comes together nice and easy. It again. really does. And that's a fabulous little, little slidey mechanism on your box. Wonderful. Just hold that glue there. Just a yeah, longer. well, you know, we haven't had time to do that, have we? Really, let's oh, be oh, fair. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, well, thank you so much for showing that to us today. No problem. You're wonderful. And don't forget, this is available in our store now. You can get those with your TCK code, can't you? You can use TCK off. on these. And if you are logged in to our website, your TCK code will come off automatically. For new viewers, what's the TCK code? Oh, I am sorry. So the TCK code is what you get when you are a Tonic Craft Kit subscriber. You see where the TCK comes in? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tonic Craft Kit. Uh, so you get 10% off everything in our store. And that includes... Brilliant deal. Weekenders, it can... It, it's yep, all, all of the, the deals. The bundles, Stuff that's on sale, you get 10% off. Exactly, exactly. As well. As top. well. That's amazing. And if that wasn't good enough, you can also split the cost of your basket as you well. You can. You can pay with clear pay or shop pay or PayPal. So if you've put, you know, a lot of things in there, mm -hmm. use someone else's money for a couple of weeks or a couple of months, depending mm -hmm. on which option you choose, and uh, spread the cost. Yeah. Love doing that. I mean, that. we do like to say that if you've got something curved like this, you don't really want a, a thick, thick card weight. So we have used the 216 on this one. Yes, I did. But I'm looking here and I can see that there's lots of different cards that like there's have been a, used. This one is a glitter card. So yeah. if you wanted to add some of that to uh, yeah. your basket to make some, then Yeah, do. but we've got some in the, um, what's that, speciality card. Mm -hmm. And that is thicker than our 216. So, you know, it is possible to get other card stocks to fold, uh, to, to curve like this and, and attach at the edges. So it's not... We like to do them out of Craft Perfect. It is just easier to manipulate a 216. And look at the colours you've got. Exactly. That's why we, we do tend to pick that, don't we? We really, really do. So if you've added, the reason I said that, if you've added more things like Craft Perfect and a bit bits more and glue, like you that, need some more glue. Always need glue. That a precision top. Or yeah. A, yeah, precision glider. Yeah. Or both, if you want to hold down all of your glue <laughs> yes, hands in one go. Indeed. Add them so, all in. Yeah. 
and don't forget to share all of your makes with us tag us in your makes we love it we love to see what you're making we really, really do so you can either do that on our official facebook group or across social media i was going to say across tonic studios no across social media <laughs> at tonic studios or hashtag show tonic Whew. That was a mouthful. It was. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel here at Tonic Studios. And if you want to see more videos from us, hit that notification bell. Ding. And we, we will be there. We will be there just like magic. We'll be on your screens just like magic. So thank you so much for joining us today. Happy crafting. Bye.